a new totally free plant library for Blender. You can use this no matter who you are, it's totally free. I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm joining with the JHAM 3D and let's do it. Geo Scatter, great add-on, okay? Geo Scatter 5.3, I swear by it, I use it all the time. Super good, I swear by it, but it's not free. But Geo Scatter is offering a complete list of free assets, which I'll show you how to access. Head on over to geoscatter.com and click biomes. Under biomes, let's go ahead and select free. And under free, you'll see plant library. This plant library has over 170 nature assets for blender cycles and EV. Uh, you can read this, it's totally free. And with these assets comes 31 pre-made biomes if you have the GeoScatter plugin or if you have a free biome reader. If we visit the product page for this plant library, we can also see they have a free biome reader where you can install and use this scat pack. Type in your information, hit submit, and you will be able to use that. Let's go ahead and download this. And if you're familiar with Scatter 5 or the GeoScatter add-on, it works as any other biome really does or any other scat pack that is. You would go to your Scatter add-on, go to open biomes, go to preferences, and then you install your Scatter package, which is inside that zip file which you will download and extract okay so what if you don't have geoscatter which i'm imagining that a lot of people really don't and you want to really see like first of all is scatter even worth it how high quality are these assets and everything that's totally fine you can extract that zip file in that zip file will be a geoscatter plant library go ahead and open that up surprise voila we have a bunch of assets right here and the cool thing is you can add this to your blender asset browser so it'll can it can be accessed through any blender file you open up and i can show you that that has already been done with mine i go to asset browser i go from current file to scatter just make sure everything is in the correct file directory there's a bunch of tutorials online for how to set up your asset browser it's really simple and you can see i've already had a bunch of those assets already delivered here and i believe it gives you some material assets as well super seamless it's great i love to use it and these are totally free like i said so let's check out a few of these assets see what we're working with i'm going to switch the viewport to render view and let's hit control space to maximize this window. We have a few of these, you know, pine trees, super nice. We have some pine bushes, I suppose, conifers. We went from top view, you can see how it's broken this down into categories. We have bushes, we have autumn, we have dry land, rock plain, forest, grass. Look how many grass assets this is actually. Like, look how many grass assets are here. I mean, It'd take you forever to make this on your own. And the fact that this is free, I mean, look at this, fantastic. I remember just a couple years ago when I was looking for like free scatter assets, it was impossible. You couldn't find anything. And now here's a totally free way. And you don't need, you don't necessarily need the geo scatter add-on to put these assets to use. So another great feature about GeoScatter products is they're all optimized. Almost every one of their products I've ever used, all of their assets have spectacular optimization features. We take a look at this tree from a distance. You can't tell the difference. Looks like a tree, right? When you go closer, it is optimized in a low poly model. And so it's not too high poly to where you're gonna be scattering this and it's gonna be crashing all the time. One of the problems that you run into when you try to make all of these assets yourself, they typically run into being too high poly and you, you're not really a optimization specialist. Whereas GeoScatter is an absolute optimization god. And that's why I love it because the GeoScatter add-on and all of their assets have spectacular optimization features, which you can see the root of right here in these low poly assets. So if you see here, let's go ahead and find maybe one of these assets which are in here. I believe this GeoScatter Conifer Small is an asset which is included in this library. Just to double check, I'm gonna see. Yeah, okay. So I opened up my asset browser and I'm just gonna drag and drop it onto here. And there we go, I have a tree and it looks pretty nice. Um, obviously not 
like that, but 170 free plant assets, all for anybody to use with inside of Blender. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and follow me on Instagram at jham.3d. I'm Jordan, and this has been jham3d, and I will catch you next time.